PPF editing is finally here and we're really excited to show you all the new tools and features, so let's get started. In this video, we're gonna cover the separ separate tool, bend tool, resize tool, and the offset tool. Start by right-clicking and then select Edit Template. Select two points on the template path and then right-click again to select Separate Template. This will separate the template at the points you selected. You can now arrange the separated templates however you want. In this example, a bumper that previously required at least a 30 inch roll could now be cut on a 24. We're gonna select that same bumper for the bend tool. This time, I'm going to hold the shift key while drawing a box with my mouse to select two points. Select the bend tool and either the plus or minus sign to move your selection. You can also use the up and down arrow on your keyboard so you don't have to click multiple times. For the resize tool example, I've decided that I want to wrap inside the wheel well of this splash. First, Zoom by holding the letter Z down and drawing a box with your mouse. Then right click and select Edit Template. Notice here that after I select two points, it automatically highlights the back side of the template. I want to add a wrap to the other side, so all you have to do is press R to reverse the selection. Now that I have the proper side highlighted, select the Resize tool, then one of the preset dimensions. In this case, I've added a half inch wrap to the wheel well of this splash template. Here's another example of the resize tool on one of our partial hood templates. Right click, select edit template. Select two points making sure that it highlights the edge that you want to extend. Using one of the preset dimensions, click plus or minus to extend or subtract from the template. Here's another example of a common edit that you would make if you want to add some stretch to your template. This time, I'm going to hold the shift key down and draw a box after selecting the edit template so it selects two points for me. Then I reselect size and preset dimension to subtract the total width of the template. Notice the dimensions to the right. In this case, I removed over two inches from the width. A bit extreme, but it can be done. One of the simplest tools is the offset tool. This is handy for those that might want to make the entire template a little bit larger to wrap all edges. Again, select the template and right click to edit. Select offset and choose one of the preset dimensions. You could also key in your dimensions if you want and you can make it as big or small as you prefer. That's all for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to see all of our latest updates.